The profit is hoping to spread the word about its campaign to help both wounded veterans and active duty military. Our Aaron Murray has more in today's weekend chat. Help Heal Veterans, that's the name and goal for a nonprofit providing resources for veterans and active duty military suffering from the physical, psychological, and emotional wounds. This month, they've been hosting a special campaign to raise even more awareness. And to give us a breakdown, we're speaking with retired Navy Captain and Help Heal Veterans CEO, Joe McLean. Joe, thank you so much for your service, number one, and for joining us today. Thank you, Erin. Appreciate the time. Now, your organization does work for veterans all year long, but throughout the month of May, you've been holding a candlelight vigil called Vigil for Valor. Talk to us about this campaign. Yeah, sure. So Vigil for Valor is something we at Help Heal Veterans put out to take advantage of our kind of a unique uh, position as a nonprofit that provides, for over 50 years, has provided therapeutic arts and crafts free of charge to any active military member or veteran undergoing health care suffering from, like you talked about, from traumatic brain injury or PTSD. And doing these crafts are, are proven to be healing, you know, to help with either the fine motor skills or depression relief is through, uh, through just expressing creativity. And as we go through Mental Health Awareness Month and culminating this weekend and Memorial Day, we want to, to take an, uh, an opportunity to create a special craft to help just not our veterans heal, but also to provide an opportunity to remember those lost. Often when we talk about Memorial Day, we talk about our, our fallen SWAR fighters as a very large group, and rightly so. But those of us who serve know that we know the faces that go along with Memorial Day, the people we know who have died in the line of duty. And we wanted to create a special kit to, to allow our veterans to help remember their fallen comrades, but also to allow the general public to learn more about the individual faces that come around Memorial Day. And that's what Vigil for Valor is all about. Uh, that, that's amazing. Now, Tommy Joe, how do you convince, you know, a veteran to say, hey, you know what? You know what might actually help you doing an art and craft? I mean, some of these guys, they can be, you know, pretty stern, pretty gruff, kind of convincing them to do a craft may not be the easiest, I'm guessing. How yeah. do you convince them that this is really helpful? You know, I think first, for, for a couple of reasons. First, we have, a, we have 50 years of doing it, so they know friends who have done it before. Also, a lot of our vets, when they, we design kits that are used by clinicians. So a lot of the times it's prescribed by their rec therapist, the mental health doc, your occupational therapist, or their physical therapist help them. So they kind of do it to help them feel better. But once you do one, it's kind of like you get that feeling that, I, I, you know, you get that almost that, uh, that feeling of release, of mindfulness that, hey, this is really helping me. The problem is my chronic pain is not as bad as it used to be. You know, my, I feel better about myself than I did when I, before I started the craft. So it almost, it just feeds. Just once you try one, you can't help to keep on going. And I think also, with Visual for Valor, we create something kind of special. We have to create kits that appeal not just to more senior vets, but that young 18-year-old Marine. So what we've done this year with Visual for Valor is we created a memorial candle. And we have put out thousands of these free of charge to veterans all across the country. And this is one that I did. To when I think of Memorial Day, I remember the crew of uh, Blue of 704, which is an S3 Viking that, uh, that, uh, uh, that crashed uh, many, many years ago. But on board is one of the finest officers I ever knew, along with three other great Americans. And uh, he left behind a wife and small child. So every Memorial Day, I think about this face. And my story is not unique. There are others who think about a face. So with Vigil for Valor, we put these out for our, for our vets free to do. But we also encourage uh, uh, those in the community to maybe do uh, their own thing within their home, their own art and craft, either candle or other ways, and then honor someone that they know. And if you don't know someone, we, we encourage folks to go out there and find a story in your local community. Learn about a veteran in your church or in your community that you know of and learn a little about their story. If you don't know them, just do a Google search. I mean, I've encouraged folks to go look at the Vietnam Wall and look at some of the faces associated with that. Create something special to honor that story. You learn about it. Memorial Day will mean more to you. And then hashtag Vigil for Valor and share it with others. Yeah, making that personal connection can make all the difference. And you're so right. There's so many veterans in our own communities that if you don't know one, why not go find one, make a new friend, or find somebody that you can, you know, do something nice for. Now, I do want to ask you this, because this started on May 1st, Joe, and ends tomorrow. Now, for those that may just be hearing about this for the first time right now, how can they get involved? 
You know, I think, uh, first off, you can visit us at HealVets.org to find out more how you can help veterans throughout the year through therapy, arts, and crafts. But uh, on the next, you know, has Memorial Day weekend draws to a close, we've, we've uh, drawn our focus through Mental Health Awareness Month on those vets who have lost their life to suicide due to their wounds of war. But uh, now it's not too late. You can just go online, find a story that resonates with you or something you've heard about, and just take a few minutes to reflect on not just as you think of Memorial Day as a group, a large group of, of fallen uh, war fighters, but just focus in on one story. You have an opportunity, make a little candle, light it, talk a little bit about that story, and then share that story and why you're lighting that candle, hashtag Vigil for Valor. So you, it's very easy to participate. All it takes is taking a few minutes to learn more about one of the faces that we're honoring this Memorial Day. What a perfect way to remember on this Memorial Day, too. Joe, thank you so much. And again, Help Heal Veterans, it's right there on your screen. Take some time to check out their website as well. We appreciate you chatting with us today. Thank you so much, Aaron. Just past 639, meteorologist Diane Katchmerick. We're still following some storms, but they're finally 